So let's start out uh, just considering our genotypes to be fixed. This is so showing the format you could use for data entry. This is the simplest way where you actually put the data directly into your program. So in SAS, you would need to assign a data name uh, to that data set. Um, and then you would use an input statement to indicate the order that your entries are occurring. You notice that we have a dollar sign uh, with uh, the name variable because that includes a character um, variable. Uh, and then you would just simply list your, your data lines. There's other options for data input in SAS, including using the import wizard, you could use in-file statements, or you could set up a SAS library. But this is just a simplest um, approach. So for the first analysis, I'm going to use the um, mixed uh, procedure in SAS, uh, assuming that our entries are fixed. So we need a class statement to indicate that block and entries are both class variables. Uh, in the model statement with PROC mixed, you only include your um, fixed effects. So the model statement is saying the 1,000 seed weight equals um, entry. And then in this case, uh, we have uh, blocks are our random effect. You notice in this case, since we're, um, the entries are all fixed, we don't really need to distinguish, at least at this point, between our checks and our new entries. So if you're going to do all uh, possible comparisons among your um, entries, you need to make, take some kind of precaution to ensure that you don't inflate type 1 error. So I've used in my LS means statement there, I've used a two-key adjustment to, um, to, to allow for all possible comparisons. Um, another option, since we are primarily interested in comparing the new entries to Starlight, which was entry number 91, is you could use the um, control upper um, statement. And in that case, I'm essentially doing a Dunnett's test because I want to compare everything to control. So to control the experiment-wise type 1 error, I use the Dunnett adjustment. Uh, you can, in SAS, is quite um, convenient. You could sort your output in any way that you wanted to. Uh, I, I am quite comfortable with Excel spreadsheets. So what I generally do is simply create new data sets uh, and then export those data sets using the export wizard uh, to Excel, and then I sort them or make selections or do whatever I want to from there. So the ODS output is essentially creating new uh, data sets for you. So I'm creating one that includes the um, adjusted means, and then another one that shows the results from the multiple comparison tests. So here's the result for that particular analysis. You see up at the top there um, the estimates of the, um, the variances for um, the variance components for block, blocks and residuals, the, the random effects. And then below that is a, a log likelihood. And in the um, sample SAS program that I provided, uh, you can, uh, for example, if you wanted to, to find out if blocks were important, you could run a model, a reduced model without blocks, and then uh, take the difference between the log likelihoods from the two um, programs and use that to test for the significance of the block variance to see if it's greater than zero. Um, generally speaking, we would want to make adjustments to our means if we get any kind of estimate for our uh, blocks that's greater than zero. So we will go ahead and do that. Um, we have a test of fixed effects here for entries, which shows that there are highly significant differences among our entries. At this point, we don't know if that's due to, to differences among our checks or among our new entries. So this is just showing after I've, for example, exported uh, the uh, multiple comparison test results to an Excel file, uh, I could open that up and look and the, um, for example, the first line here uh, shows the comparison between entry 1 and starlight, which is entry 91. And so this would be um, the, the difference between those um, observations. Um, and then over on the far right here, this would be the probability value for the Dunnett uh, test. Uh, now this is quite a conservative test. So if you are more concerned about making a type 2 error, which is throwing out a winner, than you are about making a type 1 error, you do have also here in the output a column that shows results from a 
standard type of um, LSD test. So um, we see, for example, one entry down here is significant using the Dunnitz test, significantly better than Starlight using a Dunnitz test. Um, and then there would be others that we could consider uh, using um, just a standard LSD test. I think it's important to make the point that um, there are different standard errors when you're comparing, say, one check versus um, uh, another check. That's the, the most precise comparison. Uh, new entries versus the check. Or if you're comparing entries in the same block, that comparison will be made with more precision than if you're uh, looking at new entries in different blocks. 